Good morning everybody, we're going to try something a bit different today. We're going to go for a walk and we are specifically on the lookout for spiders. I saw my favourite spider yesterday and I thought I'd love to share that with you guys. Uh, so we're going to go out and look for her this morning, hope to find some others along the way. We've got two main groups of spiders here on the reserve. We break them down into megalomorphs, which are the ground dwelling spiders. Um, and what we're looking for today is the oranomorphs and those are the ones that use a web. Okay, great, she is still here. Let's go in and take a closer look. So this is a garden orb web spider. Uh, you can see the jagged abdomen there, makes her easily identifiable. Remember that spiders are not insects, they're classified as arachnids, so they do have different body parts. The abdomen at the back there, which has the spinnerets at the end, that's the special organs which spin silk to make the webs. And then the head and the thorax actually fuse together in a way that we call it the cephalothorax. And you'll notice I refer to her as a female. Uh, the large, brightly coloured spiders are the females. The males for this species are very small and brown in colour. Then the other very noticeable thing about this web is that zigzag pattern. That's what we call the stablamentum. And a few theories for the role of that. Uh, the first is to provide strength in the web, almost acts as a sh shock absorber, you can see the similarity in shape there. Uh, the other thing is to add visibility so that things like large mammals are less likely to walk through the web and break it. And then you do normally see the female sitting next to the stablamentum, which she's perfectly demonstrating here, and a theory there is that it does break up her outline and make her less susceptible to predation. So here we are at the web of a tropical tent spider. Hopefully you can just see the outline of the tent shape there. And then you can see the big um, white piece in the middle is a collection of her insect prey and she's just down to the left there if you can see her. Again often sitting in the middle of the web in the peak of the tent itself to stay hidden. It's quite hard to see, but um, there's a huge network of silk strands above the, the tent itself. Those aren't actually sticky. Those are what we call dry silk. And uh, they're more just to direct things fall in to go into the web. And just the tent section itself is the wet silk, which is sticky. Here's our next spider. This is a golden orb web spider they get that name from the colour of the web that they spin and specifically this one is a yellow banded legged golden orb web spider. Again it's the female that is large and brightly coloured. Uh, males are small and brown. There are a few of them on the web here so I'll try and show you one. They stay on the outside. Um, they actually wait till she's distracted to try and mate with her so they just move in when she's feeding. To deposit their sperm pockets and she's actually capable of saving them until she needs them. Just a couple of males coming into view there and you can also just start to see that golden colour on the web. An amazing impressive web that spans up to a couple of meters across the road. It does often mean that we break the webs when we're driving if you've been to Ascari and you were in the vehicle when that happened, you'll remember the screams of panic that follow. Uh, but luckily for this spider, if her web does get broken, then she's able to uh, to collect it back up. She actually re-eats the web so she can save that energy and use it to spin again. She's just coming down here to what we call the garbage line. And there's a really great example of the, uh, the golden colour of the web. And that garbage line is made up of all of the insect prey uh, that she's captured and woven into the web there. Here we have one of the kite spiders, a very small spider but very colourful. They can be a combination of yellow, black, orange and easily identified 
again by that spiny projections on the body there. I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the reserves arachnids. Although they all have venom glands and venom, that's what they use to overcome their prey. So everybody that we've met today is not dangerous to humans. So you can have sweet and spider-free dreams.